Hiya, how to make a pot of tea. First of all, the ingredients that you need are water. You get it in a tap. Comes in, I mean, I think you'll have them in America, won't you, taps? Then, so you put that in a kettle. This one's been pre-boiled. Doesn't have to be a kettle. Doesn't have to be a kettle, it can be a hot Any, Anything that heats water. Anything that heats water. Basically, you need hot water for this assignment. How you do that is up to you. If you have to put some sticks together and make a fire in your kitchen, that's fine. We use a kettle over in England. So, click that on. Now, this one's pre-boiled, so it'll come quite quickly. The rest of the things you need are a cup. That's a big boy cup. Or you can have a petite lady cup. You need tea bags. I'm using cheap tea bags for this. I normally drink Yorkshire tea. So, you put your tea bag in your cup. I'm going to use the small cup, not the big cup. These are little triangular ones that let the flavour flood out. So you've got your cup in your tea bag. You also need a spoon and some milk. Now, milk comes in cartons over here. I'm, I'm guessing that they have little cows like that. In, in, you might have to go and find one of those. They'll have cows in America, won't they? I think so. Yeah. So, Milk a cow, get it in a carton, or bring a cow in, but that's a bit awkward. It's easier to just put it out of a carton. That kettle's just boiled. As soon as it boiled, you need to pour that over the tea bag. Can you just zoom in there, Professor? Zoom in, but don't forget to leave enough room for your milk. It's important that you don't put the milk in first, because the milk, milk is made of, it's got fat in it. What fat does is it blocks the holes to the tea bag. So the water just oozes through the tea bag, and then you give it a good stir. If you were doing it for more people, you could do it in a teapot. You can buy a teapot, especially for this. But this is a one-person cup. So you stir it, and leave it for approximately a minute. At this point, you could go to the fridge and get your milk and what have you, or uh, prepare something else. Once that's... Uh, there's a word for it, but I don't know what it is. Brood. We're all the team. Eh? Brood. Yeah, brood. We'll use the word brood. You bring it out and grab it. And then use the spoon to squeeze the very last bits of taste out of the tea bag. And then that tea bag can be thrown in the sink if you're a animal. Or you can put it in your recycling waste tub. Keep the spoon. Then what you do is Use gravity to insert milk to your tea. Up to a safety level, not too high because you're going to be carrying this because you're not going to drink this in the kitchen, you're going to relax in a comfy chair. Then, as the, the last pierre de resistance, that's French, stir the tea, put the spoon in the sink ready for, and then carry this through. To where you're gonna have your brew and enjoy. You see how see how they look. I was looking at you and I almost moved it. You see, I've got I've got moving space for if I'm going across undulating countryside or upstairs and I don't spill anything. Okay, enjoy your pot of tea.